dating as an attractive young woman sucks. Make sure you're offering more than just a pretty face. Yes, men love to bang hot chicks, but they want to date women who are kind, intelligent, financially independent and can enrich their lives. Exact same as what women want in a prospective partner. If you have so many choices, but always make the wrong one maybe everyone else isn't the problem. Getting a good boyfriend is different from getting options. Women have infinite options these days by default, but very few of those options are date-worthy because once they get what they need from UAE sex, then they bounce. So dating isn't easy for anybody. But still, guys would wish they could have the many options women have. It isn't easy to filter the male options to pick a good boyfriend. Delaying sex for a while would filter out a good number of people. But it's not even a guarantee because we guys can play the long con to try to smash. 24F here, attractive as well according to the people around me and I get lots of attention. I totally get you. No, I don't pick out a certain type of men. They are all over the place in terms of conventionally attractive or not. Left swipe on all dating profiles that mention casual or sex positivity. I don't have sex quickly either. I am actually asexual sex favorable so I still like sex, but PLS don't send pics of your genitals I am very much not attracted to that lol. Had to block so many people and even report them. Even after saying I am not looking for sexual stuff, men and some women and in buys as well, but very rarely kept pushing for sex and or nudes. That we look attractive doesn't mean we want all the sexual attention. I am also highly educated and people don't even care about my personality still, they are mostly interested in my body. Developed an eating disorder very shortly luckily to try to make myself less attractive after getting abused for the eyed cow manith time. I feel you girl. It's hard to tell if they like you or they just like that you're pretty and want to get laid. I've just learned to never take anything they do or say seriously. Sometimes it's hard to tell who is a good guy and it just sucks because there are a lot of messed up guys out there and none of us deserve to be treated like that. Take a break whenever you need to. I feel you girl. I know people are saying on here that you just need a better filter for who you're attracted to and this is definitely partially true, but it's still an issue. Of course I learned to sort out men who give off bad vibes or didn't put in any effort that shows genuine interest over time, but people would be surprised how much effort some men put into fucking a girl find really hot. They show interest, laugh at your jokes, don't try to lure you to their place like a typical fuckboy until you trust they are interested enough to have sex with them, and then all of a sudden they aren't interested anymore or they tell you they only want something casual. I've had it happen sometimes. And this also doesn't have to have anything to do with you lacking date-worthy qualities beyond a pretty face. You can be smart, funny, kind, have qualities of a keeper. But if a guy is only interested in fucking and not in committing to someone, they won't commit to you no matter how many boxes you check. Like op, uh, I'm aware that I have loads of advantages in dating, but this is also a genuine problem I have. Some guys absolutely reduce you to your looks, not because you have no personality, but simply because they don't care for your personality. I don't date, but here are some thoughts about attractive women from my point of view. They are incredibly over-sexualized, therefore not into sex. Most guys will think they have little chance, and therefore just preemptively make it sexual assuming rejection is not far off. Would I want to date a woman that is constantly hit on and leered at? No, my own insecurities, and completely my fault. Potential that their world societal view and how they fit into it, is warped by the way they have always been treated and therefore how they expect to be treated. A big part of me does feel sorry for them. Maybe similar to the child of a millionaire, knowing that they will never experience the real world. I would say that OP is 100 right to say no sex, meaning she is looking for something much deeper. To me this is a massive massive green light and would potentially eclipse any of the negatives I have previously mentioned. Keep going OP, it will work. If you say you are not having sex with someone out of the blue it's very off-putting and makes the guy feel shit without him doing anything, so yeah they are going to move on. A girl that makes a big fuss around the topic of sex isn't attractive. Two consenting adults know that at some point it will happen when the mood is right. You're creating a situation where it's a taboo topic and the guy bringing it up again is going to cause friction, so he figures you're not worth the trouble. The inconvenient truth is that just because someone is attractive doesn't mean he's lovable. What I want from a woman is depending on what I see in her. Most people nowadays unfortunately lack any self-awareness. Then what you need to do look for somebody who's looking for marriage and not casual dating or casual relationship that's the only way you're going to find true love at least in the sense that you're looking for. I'm not attractive, but the dudes that likes me only want sex it isn't just being the most attractive that gets those types. Now I don't care about dating. I ain't playing the game. 
Now if someone starts talking to me and we become friends and that leads to something more I'm not opposed. But I'm not looking. Cause if I look only ones lining up are for sex. Womp womp. I get it. Just because you have options, doesn't mean they are all Chris Evans. Most are creeps or jerks. Unfortunately, you just have to keep trying. If you're feeling frustrated, take a break and try again. The saying goes, men are living in the desert and women are living in swamps. We're all dying of thirst. Dating is hard for almost everyone. Don't allow anyone to make you feel bad about complaining. I'm not even attractive and I am sick of males for this reason only. I have been isolating myself for a while Jiao. Just denying sex is a terrible strategy. I want more than sex, but sex is one of the things I want. If a woman tells me right off the rip that it's off the table then she might as well say sorry you only have enough potential to be a friend. I assume she's planning on making me wait some indefinite amount of time or some other BS games that basically amount to lack of interest. And in my experience the women that make me wait are already getting it from someone else and have endless options so they don't share the frustration. To be strung along without a care is not somewhere I ever want to be. I can't tell you how to pick someone that's right for you, but I can tell you y'all blow it if you send this vibe out. Stories like this give me hope that some women won't immediately judge me for being a demistual and a virgin at 28. This can't be because you're attractive and young. I'm told that I'm attractive and young and I've maintained a fair number of platonic relationships with men after rejecting them romantically sexually. Well, if you have options you should also have an option to date someone normal, intellectual and mature who values you as a person first. Are you trying to somehow connect to such people? The people who you described just represent a specific group who are seeking for sex primarily and yeah it should feel bad if you are surrounded by them. The people you're attracted to is the problem there is a defect in your ability to make decisions you lack discernment and blah blah you're apparently sleeping with these guys at some point so that's not good either unfortunately dating is dead. Women have more options and this is currently the best time for women to date. But I guess nobody really wants anything or even knows what they want anyways. Kind of similar situation. Mine is more men become infatuated with me and make out they want something serious than I find out it was a totally shallow pursuit. Draining F. It makes early stage dating very tedious 